and welcome back to getting better at things today we're getting a little better at excel in this case power query there is further down the line i will be showing you some more power pivot and some more excel in general but for the moment we're getting our data that's what we want to we want to get our data in this case we're going to get the data from text files not just one text file many text files from file from folder allows us to retrieve an entire folder of files. We browse to the folder where all of those full files are located because many times data comes to us in the shape of CSV files that are delivered on a, a daily, weekly, monthly basis and we have to combine them. We have to add them together. So in this case, I'm going to browse to that particular folder And it's going to be a temporary folder I set up. There we go. Of course, it will list all of the files inside the folder, and we're not interested in all of those files. We just want to see as fee files. But let's transform the data. It has just searched the folder and all subfolders. So if, if any CSV files exist in a subfolder, it will select all of them. But in this case, only the CSV files. I have just copied the same file over and over, so it's not really all that, that exciting, but um, I think you'll understand what um, the purpose might be. So I'm going to select the column with the content, remove other columns. I could choose to keep the date created because of course now in this case, they're all created at the same time. Um, that's not gonna do us very much good uh, I could do that, though. I'll, I'll just do it, why not? I also keep, uh, because the seconds are different, well, even, even those are almost the same. I'm going to just stick with the content. I'm going to remove all the other columns, and I'm going to click the double arrow. It will take all of the files, it will evaluate them, and it will try to combine them. There we go. So, he now asks me, how I want to interpret this. Now maybe I want to choose a different kind of typing. So in this case I might want to choose Unicode. I'm going to switch to Unicode. That way I was sure, yes, that all of the words with accents in them are preserved correctly. And I'm going to choose the semicolon and that seems to be fine. I'm going to confirm with OK. So now we have all of those files combined into one single file. There. If tomorrow a new file were to emerge, we would simply would have to choose refresh. Now, there is, of course, a way to make sure that we retrieve only the most recent line. That is, if we include the date and then we can do a, a group by. We have in transform, we have group by to make sure we only have the, the most recent line per uh, employee. But that's something we're going to have to deal with in a separate video. For now, this is all I have to show to you. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video. Cheers.